up guys, Alex is here, guitarforce.com. So as you can see today, we're going to take a look at the intro part of Hema Trainer coming, the acoustic version that Jimmy did. You can find it on film as well here on YouTube. And um, the full lesson is going to be available at guitarforce.com for purchase. The link is going to be in the description box down below. And the bit that you saw in the beginning me playing, it's actually the first take that Jimmy did, but then stopped and then proceeded with the take number two, which is the entire song. So we're going to take a look at the intro of um, the second take, the full uh, song. And uh, if you are interested in uh, purchasing the lesson, the first take that I played in the beginning is going to be transcribed there. So uh, if you're interested, check that out as well. Um, the tuning for this song, for this lesson, is going to be quite low. It's about two and a half steps down. And also, Jimmy's, uh, uh, Jimmy played this song on the 12th string acoustic guitar, so keep that in mind. It gives a lot more sound. I'm playing it on this 6th string. You know, the sound is not the same, obviously, but um, still you can play it on just a 6th string guitar as well. Um, I'm going to post a link to the uh, cover playthrough of this song, which is on my other channel, so if you're interested, check that out as well. And uh, now I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so tune up your guitar and let's go for the close up. So we're going to break up the song into licks and phrases and parts and uh, the first part of the intro goes like this. So this first lick is played on the high E string, we have a pull off 9 to 7, then we play 8 on the B string and we repeat the lick. So all together we play it for 5 times. And then last note is going to be on the high E string 9th fret. Then the next lick goes like this. So here we play a double stop. Um, uh, the uh, ninth fret, I'm sorry, seventh fret on the uh, B string and ten on the uh, high E. And we play it for four times. And the last time when we play this double stop, we slightly bend the B string. Like that. Just a slight bend here. Then the next part is going to be like this. So here we're using an octave which is G string 9th fret and high E on the 12th. And here we're going to be including the uh, swing fill. The whole song is based on uh, swing fill, that kind of rhythm. And it's applied to the 16th notes, not to the, to the 8th notes, but to 16th notes. So we start off with the first two octaves, just straight 8 notes. And then we're going to be including the uh, swing feel to the last uh, octave. Like that. Then we continue playing uh, with the swing feel, but we're now going to change the, uh, the note, which is going to be on the high E string 10th fret. And also we're going to be including the uh, B string on the uh, 9th fret. So we have this, uh, this um, triad. So all together is going to be like this. Okay, so this um, triad we also play three times. Then the next part is going to be the single notes. It goes like this. So we slide into the ninth fret on the G string and it's a kind of grace note, so meaning a fast slide. Back to 7, then we have... So going to the D string and playing again uh, the grace note, but this time sliding from around 9th fret, 9 8th fret into the 7th and we play 7-5-7-5. Seven, five, seven, five. 
have two notes on the A string, 7th fret. 7 to on the uh, D string. And then we have a grace note 5 to 6, meaning quick um, hammer on. 7 on the A again, and then we add the low E string two times. So all together, the slot is going to be like this. Then we continue. So we have here 5-7 um, on low E, on A and on the D strings. And uh, here we include this... Uh, uh, the rhythm is not um, straight eighth notes, but it's... Uh, you know, one note is longer and then the next note is shorter. Then we play 5th fret on the low E string. Let it kind of ring out and then we play... It's an A7 chord. I use my thumb and uh, Jimmy used a lot of, um, you know, thumb in his playing. So we play the other part of the A7 chord, the dominant 7. And then we have... So we slide into the 7th fret on the low E string, then we play 5th fret on the A, then we play 3rd fret to the open on the low E string, and uh, the open string we play twice. So all together with this single note run is going to be like this. So after we play the three open low E two times, uh, then we go into the trill here on the D string between open and second fret. Then we have continue playing uh, scale uh, here. So we play two times after the trill, two times uh, the second fret on the D string. Then we go open to the third on the low E, open to the second on the A, open D, open A, second fret on the A, going into the B7 chord. So it's going to be like this. So when we get to the second fret on the A string, we then form a B7 chord. Um, Jimmy would use the high E and the B strings open a lot in this song. Or you can play just a standard B7 chord. And then we have... So it's um, um, a double stop again, sixths in this uh, instance. So it's on the second fret of the G string and second on the high E, and we move up um, chromatically. Chromatically, so we go two, three, four in a specific rhythm, like that. Okay. So this is the the intro of the song. I'm gonna play it now all together, all of the parts slowly, so you can see what's going on. So it goes like this. So that concludes the intro part for this song. If you're interested in continuing learning the whole song, it's going to be a very detailed explanation of the whole song. The link is going to be in the description box down below. Please check that out. Uh, if you like the lesson, please give it a thumbs up. Also, comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar-related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy. And as always, let the force be with you.